CYC is a free channel presents the Word of God for everyone. Your support will help us to continue the mission. Visit our website, cycnow.com. Even a dollar will make a difference. Canada. The origination of the word Canada goes back to the word Kanata in the language of the natives, which means village or community. The history of Canada goes back thousands of years when the Eskimos came to Canada from Asia through Alaska. The immigration of the Copts to Canada has started as early as the late 1950s and it was remarkable in the 1970s due to an increased amount of discrimination towards Copts in Egypt at that time. Many decided to immigrate in order to escape the rising racial tensions. Canada has been receiving a greater number of these immigrants and the number of Coptic immigrants into Canada has been growing ever since. According to the census, there were over 10,000 Orthodox Coptic Christians in Canada by the year 2001, an increase from only 5,000 in 1991. Currently, there are over 50,000 Coptic Orthodox Christians throughout Canada, however, primarily in Ontario and Quebec. But why Canada? Put simply, because it is the second largest country in the world. Canada is also one of the major industrial countries and one of the richest. It has plenty of different natural resources. It is highly graded among others in human rights. The immigrant in Canada is able to apply for a Canadian citizenship after only three years from the date of his immigration. He then is able to carry a Canadian passport which is safer than others, as Canada is a peaceful country. And we notice that most of them settle in Toronto, because it is a beautiful city in North America. The capital of the province of Ontario, its suburbs and its surroundings are the major industrial resources and trade centers all over Canada, so it has the best opportunity for employment. Toronto also is a unique city in its multiculturalism. The Canadian government encourages every culture to keep its own language and traditions. It also supports teaching the Canadian-born children the language of their culture. The Copts have never succumbed to persecution in their homeland or wherever they have lived. They have always overcome it by getting a higher education and established their own businesses. They have found a new way to seek success in immigration, but they were afraid to be separated from their Coptic roots in Egypt. Statistics have revealed in 2011 that 22.103 million Canadians identified as Christians, about 67.3% of the total Canadian population. In November of 1964, St. Mark Coptic Orthodox Church was established in Toronto to be the first Coptic Orthodox Church in Canada. At that time, His Holiness Pope Carlos VI ordained Father Marcos A. Marcos as the first priest to care for the Copts in North America. He resided in Toronto but served the Copts across the continent alone for three years until another priest was ordained. The first seeds sown by Father Marcus 45 years ago have now flourished into 37 Coptic Orthodox parishes in Canada 
and more than 200 in the United States of America. On January 6th of 1999, the eve of the Coptic Christmas, Father Ruiz announced that His Holiness Pope Shenouda would pray for the coming Feast of the Epiphany at St. George and St. Ruiz Church in Toronto. It was known at that time that the Coptic Patriarch prays this feast in Alexandria. But that was the first time ever in Coptic history that it would be prayed outside of Egypt. Now, there are more than 40 permanent priests serving over 40 Orthodox Coptic churches in Canada. They are keeping the same Orthodox faith, doctrine, traditions, and teachings. It is under the direct leadership of His Holiness Pope Tawadrus II and the Holy Synod of the Coptic Orthodox Church in Egypt. These churches have a lot of services, like the Divine Liturgy, which are prayed in both English and Coptic. They also have Sunday School, the Bible Study, youth groups, a lot of conferences and conventions, in addition to the annual Karaza Festival for juniors, high school, and college youth. I would like to thank His Holiness, Pope Tawadros II, for his trust by assigning me these great responsibilities of being the first bishop in Canada. The Coptic Church in Canada is blessed to see the visit of His Holiness Pope Tawadros II in September of 2014, which is the first time since his enthronement for him to visit the congregation there. The visit includes liturgies, youth meetings, altar consecrations all over Canada.